It's interesting to note that just as Charlie Wick has done a terrific job of revitalizing the United States Information Agency, uh, this group really has uh, worked very hard and devoted a great deal of time. And it, uh, I spent the evening with them last night and some discussions. Uh, they've devoted a lot of their personal time, a lot of their personal travel to go around the, the world to see what's going on in the United States information activities. And uh, just as the agency has done new things, I think the commission has assumed a new position of importance as far as uh, its work is concerned. I see I've recovered for a little. Indeed you have. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't get many of those now. Maybe the geriatrics journal. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
good picture of each person with you. I want to thank you for all you and your staff you don't back these tires. You, you can stand over here and shake hands with each person. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. yeah. Let me take your picture with each other. No, it's the reading room tires from Saratoga. And I'll get out of the way, too. Busiest agencies in town to see well what's going on, and the cheerful voice at the other end said, "Oh, said we're meeting our workload uh, perfectly normal with only half our employees." <laughs> 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 Thank you very much, Mr. President. Good luck. Thanks very much. Well, I'll forget. Prime Minister of the Netherlands. Thank you again. Thank you so much. Hello, sir. Hello. How are you? Glad to see you. Glad to see you here. Hello, excellent. Hello. How are you? Thank you. 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 Thank Well, come in. We'll have to sit and not give away any state secrets for a few minutes while two waves of press photographers come in. Happy and terrific. Well, uh, good to see you. It's certainly good to see you. 
And uh, I'd like to uh, make this presentation of the letter from the head of state in Liberia. And he said I should hand it to you personally. So I took it first to protocol, and they, uh, all right, okay. All right. <laughs> very good. Better service than we sometimes get. Oh, very, very good. Province St. Mal, we've, uh, over, uh, we've uh, more than hit our quota for the year, over two million. And uh, we're going now for uh, six million, and then for 10 million. That's working out fine. And in Liberia, you might be interested in knowing that it's a land of opportunity. It's a religious, uh, I mean, by that I mean uh, uh, Christian uh, country except for 30% of the population. And it's a land of opportunity. It's the only country in Africa that's always had its freedom. They're going to keep their freedom. And the present government is doing everything to see that the communists do take over. I thought you'd like to know that. And uh, how we're going to help them is to uh, get businessmen behind you uh, investing over there. Very good. Well, oh, one other thing. Your daughter called us. Oh. And uh, I told her we'd go all the way with her. She said, send her love to you. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Very good. All right, well, we have some money. So we have this, too. Very good. Mr. President, thank you. It's to see you. All right, now we're supposed to stand in front in making the presentation in front of the president. And uh, it is my, our honor, religious, oh, pardon me. Uh, okay, well, let's see, I'm supposed to stand on your right then in that right. case. And how do you have it? <laughs> okay. There's another name. <laughs> uh, very, very good. Well, it's a real honor for us to make this presentation because you like the Pope who practices what he preaches. You know, a lot of people say the Lord's Prayer, forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. But who really forgives? But when the Pope himself goes over to, uh, to the man who shot him yes. and forgave him, and you're that kind of guy. And on the campaigns, we're really going to do a job. There's no ifs and ands you're going to make. All right. If you want to just do a presentation. Mr. President, as chairman of the board, on behalf of the Office of the Religious Heritage of America, it's Pardon a me. Uh, signal uh, honor for me to present this plaque. Well, thank you very much. I am greatly honored and greatly humbled. We I think I'm extremely fortunate to have you at the great Christian statesman. With your dynamic faith and your powerful messages and leadership, you've certainly been a great inspiration to millions of people in America. Well, thank you. It's a proud historic moment for the organization. Thank you. Should we hand it to someone? Okay. Chairman of the Wards Committee, right. I'm go right. uh, happy to present the Madame. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Well, I, as I say, I am, I am not only greatly honored, I am greatly humbled by this. I, You're worthy. Well, thank you. And every time you see that, just think of, uh, keep in there. Well, I, uh, I've told someone once who was telling me about their prayers for me, and I told them that if they ever got a busy signal, it was because I was in there ahead of them. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, very good. Thank you. Uh, well, and thank you very much. It's an honor to be Thank you. Well, how are you? Nice to see you. Greetings. Thank you. Experience. Fort Wayne. Well, thanks very much. It's a very historic moment for me. My first president. Well,
spell the name correctly, <laughs> really, but I think maybe if they win this game here, I'll change the spelling. <laughs> Say that, I tell you that Super Bowl is getting to be something. I got the magazine yeah. that they put out, a book, souvenir book, but the whole history and everything of all the Super Bowls. Hi, nice to see you. Good afternoon, Hi, Mr. Baby. President. This is the President. Aubrey yeah. Irby, it's well, a pleasure to see you again. It's a pleasure to see you. Yes, and this is my wife, Margaret Irby. Hello. And Reagan. And this is Dave Blackmer, public relations with Columbus International. Dave, President. This is Sir, his wife, Ann Blackmer. Hello. And from the staff of Columbus International. Well, meeting the president of Columbus International is a tradition I am happy to continue here. And uh, I know all that you've done. You responded. Well, you were off doing it anyway before I issued a call for private enterprise to and the private sector to engage in good deeds. But yes. then when you added all that you've done, 300,000 members gave a thousand, thousand. the equivalent of a thousand dollars worth of effort of their services, that's $300 million contribution. Yes. And then you added $35 million of cash on top of it. Yes. In addition, we have our key club in Circle K, our youth organizations, which are also assisting very much in the drug abuse and the chemical people program. I was just say of a lady you know very well. They had yes. a lot to do with that. She said, to give her regards, by the way, we spoke to her earlier. But she said she hoped to see you at dinner. <laughs> she will. And, and also, may I, may I say thank you very much, President Reagan, because in 1964, when you made a speech at the Kiwanis International Convention in Los Angeles, I met you as you made your exit, and you made a tremendous speech, and I owned an operated radio station in Tyler, Texas, and I asked you if you'd be good enough to give me that program to use, and you said that I could, and I did. <laughs> and I did again, and I did again. <laughs> so, uh, so I thank you very much. Now, of course, I'd like to say this is for me personal, but it is from Kiwanis International, and this is a token of our appreciation for what, we, what you've meant to us and what an inspiration you've been to us and the inspiration you've been to provide us to, to go out and do more volunteer service. And I'd like to present that to you at this time, and may I give you an idea how it works, and inside you'll see an inscription there. Hey. And this is a custom-made... Uh, yeah, I'm so <laughs> uh, Oh, that's... See, this is custom-made in Switzerland, and it is... Uh, it will do just about everything, and it, has a, it actually runs to begin with. It actually works. Yeah. It keeps time. That's the first thing it does. Then it has an alarm, and if you were a seafaring man, which I understand you spend more time on the ranch, it also could help <laughs> give you directions and so forth. So. Well, that's just wonderful. Thank you very much. You mean there's a compass there, too? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Now, of course, we don't need to tell you where to go because we think you go in the right direction. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much. Yes. Great to see you again. And I thank all Kiwanians for what you're, what you're doing and the example that you set. Yes. We'd be glad to have you come back to Tyler in the day also, by the way. You know a few people there. Yes. My first time in Tyler yes. uh, was while I was doing the General Electric Theater. Yes. They sent me there. And to make some appearances at the Tyler, Texas Rose Festival. Yes. And it was, uh, I remember, they showed me to a suite in the hotel, and then they told me that that same suite had the distinction that two gentlemen named Murchison and uh, Richardson, Richardson yeah. had uh, uh, been the landlords of that suite just previous to my arrival. They had bought a quarter of a million dollar bull and insisted that it <laughs> share that room. <laughs> <group. laughs> you have a good memory. Uh, I was there and I remembered. <laughs> That's the way it happened. 
That was the first time, then you put back on another case. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Mm. Thank political you. Political things in mind. Yes, and come back again with political things in mind because you get a lot of support there again. Uh, well, <laughs> I'll probably be around. <laughs> <laughs> We're looking forward to that. Thanks so much. Thank